All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, the true name of who, whom the world called God, man. God's just a title, man. By Hashem in the name, um, Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the only begotten Son, man. You know, the firstborn amongst many brothers, man. The Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, man. By Hashem, Rakakodash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles. The elders at Great Millstone that rule well, man. You know, peace, salutation, and love to the elect around the four corners of the earth, man. You know? Hey, and through the spirit of your how about you, have a shot, man. You know, I'm out here once again, man. To, um, first and foremost, man, to teach you how to, to give you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know? First and foremost, let you repent, let you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know, so in order to be saved, you have to receive the knowledge of salvation, man. Some of the churches ain't teaching, man. The church is teaching this watered-down doctrine, love everybody, you know. So-called uh, Caucasian race think they ain't going to pay for everything. They dumb, tired people, man. But it's time for them, it's time, it's time for the so-called white man, woman, and child to pay for everything that they ancestors done to us, man. You know, they going to pay for it, man. You know, because they benefited off it. So they gon' when when it's time to benefit the bad side of it, that's coming to them, man. And there ain't no running from it, man. <coughs> well, back to the point, man. You do, you let you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It's time for you to come back to your power, man. Your power lies within the um, within the Holy Bible, man. You see, your power lies, man. Your power don't lie with, with, with your weapon when you can get or your money. This is where you get your power from, right here, man. This is what the Lord bless you with, man. These laws, that's the commandments, man. What your day is, baby, you get on the earth, man. you know. So we receive all the blessings that He promised us in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. And that's another thing. Two thirds of our people, man. They were predestined for destruction, man. So, with understanding that, man, you know, still make you feel some type of way, man, that when you, your people can't receive this truth, man, but when you understand that the Lord set everything up the way he did, man, hey, you just got to roll with the own um, good, man, and you'll see two-thirds in the kingdom, man. You know, Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, I'm a part of that elect number, man. You know, but right now, you know, um, hey, just going to do what's commanded of me according to the scriptures, man. You know, try to keep these law stats and commandments to the best of my ability. You know, let my light shine before me. Um, remember to have mercy, you know. Let you, let you, you know, hey, your, your blood's supposed to be flowing with mercy, man. You're supposed to always have mercy towards your people, man. You know, that's, that's supposed to be your mind frame, man. Just having mercy, man. Therefore, when it's time for you to, when you need mercy, man, the Lord gonna give you that mercy, man. You know, but I'm gonna, um, I'm going to prophecy today, man. You know, dude, I'm starting out with going into prophecy. And then, you know, wherever the spirit may blow it, that's what, that's what, hey. Spirit of your how about shoot me out shot, man. That's what that's what it's gonna be, man.
Start off with Psalms, the 82nd chapter, man. The 82nd Psalms, man. This is Psalms of ASAP, man. No, um. Hey, with further more do, man. With further more, just gonna let the scripture do the talk, man. The scripture talk more than me, man. Psalms chapter 82, verse 1. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, standing in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods, man. Right. So this is what the Lord doing right now, man. He judging among the gods, man. You know? He judging among the powers, man. Because every nation is a power. Every nation got their own God, man. So the Lord judging among the gods, man. Even the nation of Israel, we gods, man. We powers, man. But we were set up to be powers on the right-hand side, man. Just two-thirds of our people have been uh, seduced by the wicked right now, man. You know, so they're going to have to receive their just due punishment, but they're going to come back in the kingdom. And they right mind, man, and then they right lot, man. Um, how long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked, man? Selah, man. Right, man. So how long, man? And, and, um... This is you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And mainly your leaders, man. Mainly your pastors and, and, and your leaders, man. How long will you accept, or how long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked, man? How long, man? Y'all know the so-called white man don't like y'all, you know. Y'all constantly see how he treat our people, man. But y'all still try to accept him and say, look, it's going to be all right. You just got to love everybody, man. No, man. That's judging unjustly, man. You got to you gotta um, judge righteous judgments, man, according to the scriptures, man. You can clearly see that the so-called white man, man, he the wicked on the face of the earth, man. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy, man. Right, man. So defend the poor and the fatherless and, to, and, and do justly to the afflicted and the needy, man. And, 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 and parabolic, man, that represents the whole nation of Israel, man. You know? It represents the whole nation of Israel, man. Because we became fathers. We became widows, man. And we lost our heritage and our culture, man. And the Heavenly Father turned his back upon us, man. You know? Deliver the poor and the needy, read them out of the hand of the wicked, man. Right, man. So, that's what this word teach you how to do, man. And then you're supposed to teach others, man. You're supposed to uh, guide them to read them out of the hand of the wicked, man. You know, stop following the ways of America, man. You know, yeah, a lot of our people going to celebrate Halloween, man, in like uh, three days, man. That's a wicked-ass holiday, man. Who dressed up, who put on costumes, you know, and dress up like somebody else, man, looking like monsters, man. That's a wicked holiday that our people should be celebrating, man. You got to know what they go back to, man. They know not, neither will they understand, man. Right, man. So this is what your pastor is supposed to be telling you, man. Your pastor is supposed to be teaching you, man. All the ways of America have gotten us at the bottom, man. Trying to follow up behind a white man, uh, going to church, listening to your pastor, tell you to love the so-called white man, man. That ain't nowhere in this Bible, man. That they, the Lord said he hate Esau, man. You read the Bible and come across Esau, it's talking about the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. The white man ain't write this book, man. The Lord said he hate Esau, man. So you need to know that, man. How you gonna try to love somebody the Lord hate, man? So when you do that, you're going against the Lord, man. And you're going to get destroyed for that. You're going you're gonna to come out of that mind frame, man. They walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. So now all the foundations of the earth is out of course, man. That's why right now it's, 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 it's the end of October and it's 80 degrees, man. Why? Because the so-called white man, he all in the air. He got his harp system. He got the jet stream all out of, out of whack, man. The birds don't know when to fly south or north because one day it'll be 50 degrees, the next day it'll be 80 degrees, man. So all the foundations of the earth are out of course 
under the rulership of the so-called white man, man. Amer all the, the, the soil in America has been depleted of nutrients, man, ever since like the 40s, man. So there's no nutrients in the soil of America, man. That's why America had to import all their fruits and everything, man, you know. Then you got all that, you got, you got, you got our um, people, as far as the, the Latinos, man, that's fleeing out of Honduras, fleeing out of those countries on the, the so-called white man doing that, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. But the Lord gonna show our people one way or another who this white man is, man. Who the wicked is, man. Look at that word darkness right there, man. Like I said, they do not understand. They all walk in darkness, man. Which I know that word darkness is right there, man. All that people walk in ignorance, man. They don't know what the hell going on, man. Then you try to tell them, all of a sudden, they got, they, oh, all of a sudden they won't teach you something, man. If you know so much, why you ain't out teaching, man? You know, why you ain't out teaching your people, man? Why you ain't making your body a living sacrifice, man? On the front line, letting your people know who they are, man. You know? See the sign, bro? Nah, Israelite, man. It's the Bible, man. You know, even on, um, nah, the Bible, man. The Bible, the, hey, the white man ain't write the Bible, man. Huh? Our people wrote the Quran, but our people wrote the Quran. We try to use that as a, as a way to take lands back from the Arabs, man. The real truth is in this Bible right here, man. Even Farrakhan today, he's supposed to be the top Muslim. Farrakhan never teach out the Quran. He go right to the Bible, man. Right, man. But just like we say, just see, just just like I said, man. Which I ain't tripping on it, man. But everybody see me and don't know what's going on. The first thing they'll think is I'm a Muslim, man. No, man. I'm not a Muslim, man. That's a made-up religion. That's a man-made religion, man. It's all about your, tr your true identity, your true nationality, man. If you don't come back to this, man, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to be destroyed, man. That Lord going to have a lot of mercy on our people, man. You know, which that's on the Lord, man. Which I learned this truth. The Lord gave me to understand that it's true. So I'm out here to teach our people, man. Set up their judgment in the gate. So our people know how to judge right from wrong, man. You know? Not according to what a man say, but according to the Bible, man. Because one way or another, man, our people, you got this Bible somewhere in your house, man. If you, even if you consider yourself a Muslim, I guarantee you got this book in your house, man. Because this is your spirit clean to it, man. Like, and the reason why a lot of our people uh, cling to the Muslim, to Islam, because it, it, it do, the Muslims do say the white man is the devil, man, which he is, man. But it's a lot of flaws in that, in that, in that Islam, man. You got different, you got different Muslims still think they can sell dope. They eat shrimp, lobster, crab, which that's which they claim they believe in the, uh, the five books of Moses, the Torah, man, which you give the unclean animals and the clean animals you can eat, man. You know. But this the message that your pastor supposed to be your pastor supposed to be delivering you out of the hand of the wicked, man. And how did he do that, man? The truth is what set you free, man. Money not gonna set you free. Material is not gonna set you free. Knowing the truth, man. Knowing who you are. Knowing first and foremost, knowing who the heavenly Father and His Son is, man. You know, knowing the blessings they already promised us, man. And understanding who you are, man. That's what's gonna give you mental rest, man. Nothing else, man. Nothing else, man. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk out, they won't, they walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. Right, man. So that's what you see right now, man. That's why you see everything you see right now, man. All the foundations of the earth is out of course under the rulership of the so-called white man, man. That's why the white man destruction is at hand, and it's all in the Bible, man. That's why America finna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. But first, it's gonna be a race war in America. It's gonna be famines. You know, it's gonna be pestilence, plagues, all that's coming to America, man. Everything America show you on the news, man. All across the world, where it got different civil, um, got um, different civil wars, man. All that's coming to America, man. All that's coming to America, man. Because once the economy fails, 
then you're going to see total chaos in this place, man. So for all you preppers storing up your food and, 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 and thinking you're going to prepare for what's to come, the, 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 look, people of the Lord is going to eat during their time, man. Mainly the, the, the elect, man. The elect women, men, and children who the Lord have ordained, man, to be preserved in those times, who he going to put his heads around in those times, man. I have said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, man. So for you Negroes, West Indians, you Haitians, you Dominicans, you Guatemalans to Panamanians, you Puerto Ricans, you so-called Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Argentinians to Chileans, you Colombians to Uruguayans, you so-called Mexicans, man. You are all gods, and you are children of the Most High, but guess what? But you should die like men, man. Two thirds of our people gonna die like men, man. And fall like one of the princes, man. Why? Because you wanna continue to live in your wickedness. You wanna continue to, to let the so called white man tell you what's wrong and what's right, man. So you gonna die. Arise, O oh God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all the nations, man. And we go inherit all the nations, man. The Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We're going to inherit all the nations. The nations have been inheriting in us for over 500 years now, man. That's why the Chinese man can come over here and open up his business and be over you. The Arabs, the East Indians, man. That's why, man. They, they taskmasters for the so-called white man, which he Esau according to the Bible, man. He ain't white, he red, man. Because it said we should inherit the gent we should we gonna inherit. Said the most high gonna inherit all nations, man. How, we gonna, but we're gonna be joint heirs because, like the scriptures say, man, he, 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 he pleased him to put all things into his son's hands, man. So we're gonna be joint heirs when you have a shot, man. You know? So we gonna inherit all the nations, man. Right on point, man. It's Isaiah chapter 24, verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and making it waste, turning it upside down and scattering abroad the inhabitants thereof, man. So, this is what the Lord finna do, man. He finna make the earth empty, man. And He gonna make America completely empty, man. Gonna turn America, America is gonna be turned into a desert, man. America is going to be turned into a desert, man, by thermonuclear missiles, man. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest. As with the servant, so with his master. And with the maid, so with her mistress, man. Right, man. So ain't nobody, can't nobody escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Ain't nobody going to be able to run from the judgment of the Lord, man. Not even a sellout nigga, man.
As with the buyer, so with the seller. And so with the borrower, and so with the taker of usury, and so with the give, giver of usury to him, man. So when the law get ready to bring his judgment down, man, it don't matter how much money you got, man. These rich, these rich crackers living it up good, man. When the law bring his judgment, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be no good to them, man. You know, it ain't gonna be no good to them, man. And we, that's what we seeing right now, man. That's what we seeing right now, man. The economy gonna crash in America, man. And everybody gonna be brought down to the same playing field, man. And guess what, man? The Lord gonna put the spirit on his people, man. And, hey, we're going to pay you crackers back for everything y'all done to us, man. You know? So y'all living good now, man. But, but get ready for your judgment, man. But guess what? Two-thirds of our people that love the so-called white man, man, that want America to keep going, want to keep living in this fucking bondage, man, going to die right along with the so-called white man, man. What it say? So with the lender, so with the borrower. Who is the lender, man? That's the elites. That's the international banking families, man. Controlled by the white man, man. So it's going to be the same way with everybody, man. Nobody finna escape this judgment that's coming to America, man. It might end the ski. And who run America? The white man, man. His judgment coming. He know it. He not going to tell y'all. He not going to tell y'all how he can see the economy crashing, man. He ain't going to tell you that, man. And guess what? For all our people that think it's funny and it's a game, oh, the Lord gonna pay you a visit, man. Same cool niggas that was that, that was that was wanting to befriend the so-called white man. The Lord gonna show you in that day, man. This Luke chapter 6, verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for you shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. And woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets, man. Right, man. So like the scriptures say, man. I'm gonna read it again, man. Luke 6, and this, I'm, and I'm reading out the Bible, man. This ain't the Quran. It's the Bible, man. It's for everybody who didn't know, man. I'm reading out the Holy Bible, man. Everybody claim to believe in the Bible. They claim to believe in the Lord, man. But we gonna see what the Bible say, man. Read Isaiah 24 and 2 again, man. Because you always got our people think something a game, man. Think something funny, man. You come out here, you speak up for your people, put yourself on the line, man. And they think everything a damn game, man. You're going to see how funny it is when the Lord brings his destruction down, man. Isaiah 24 and 2 again. I'm going to read 24 and 1 again, man. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and making it waste and turning it upside down, man. So the Lord going to turn this world upside down, man. Because the white man to turn the world upside down, man. He got you thinking right is wrong and wrong is right, man. He got you accepting homosexuality. He got you, you thinking you can eat whatever you want to eat, man. He got you think, thinking it's all right to be a dyke, man. How the hell are you going to raise up kids in, in a place like this, man? 
I got four kids, man, and I have to stay on them, man, about this wickedness of America, man. So this is why the Lord going to have to turn this place upside down, man. Go turn the earth upside down, man. No, nobody want to talk about this part of the Bible, man. They want to talk about the sweet parts and the good parts, man. No, nobody want to talk about the bitter parts of the scriptures, man. The judgment of the Lord, man. No, nobody want to talk about that part of the Bible, man. All I got right here, bro. It's all good. And scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof, man. So that's why you see, like, as far as, uh, hey, you Latinos, man, you Latinos amongst our people, man. Ain't you being scattered abroad now, man? See, the Lord judgment and start with his own people first, man. So y'all better wake up, man. Thinking you can stay in your countries, man, which, which I understand, man, got to do what he got to do, man. But it comes to a point, man, you, hey, you got to turn to the Lord, man. Can't be making an excuse for committing your wickedness, man. But this is you see right now, man, going on in Central and South America, man. You see our people being scattered abroad, man. And that's that's guess who behind that, man? The elites of the so-called white man, man. The old lands are fruitful and, and got plenty of resources over there, man. So they they doing that behind the scenes, man, because they control the governments in the old lands, man. Any government they can't control, that's why basically Venezuela, that's why all they have broke loose in Venezuela because they couldn't control, um, it started with Hugo Chavez, man. They couldn't control him. Then, who stepped up in this place? You got Maduro now, man. But he came up under Hugo Chavez, man. So what the so-called white man do? He put a blockade on their country so nothing can go in and out. And that, all they show you on the news is, is the people ain't eating and they fleeing to other countries, man. But this is a part of the Bible prophecies, man. This is a part of the prophecies, man. The Lord's gonna start with judgment upon his people, man. It's just like if you a father, man, you you gonna make sure you get your child first, man. You gotta get your child in line first, man. With the so-called white man, you're not gonna get away with nothing you done against our people, man. You haven't gotten away with nothing, man. The Lord just let your, let your sins reach all the way up to heaven, man. Now he reading you your sentence and your judgment finna be executed, man. That's like when our people go to court, it ain't nothing for the so-called white man to give him 40 years with a smile on his face, man. And scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof, man. It's gonna be the same way in America, man. You're going to start being scattered abroad, man, from city to city, man. You see what's going on, how they sent all these different bombs to these different people, man. All that set up, man. They prepare your man for a terrorist attack, man. Then you had the guy to go in the synagogue and kill those, uh, kill them, them so-called Jews, man, which they are the children of Satan, according to the Bible, man. They the synagogue of Satan, man. And this shall be as with the people, so with the priest, man. As with the servant, so with his master. As with the maid, so with her mistress. As with the buyer, so with the seller, man. So it don't matter what position you in when all this happened, man. You finna eat, you gonna be, you gonna eat, eat, hey, you gonna be, like you said, in heaven's gonna be scattered abroad, man. And that's what you see going on right now, man. Turn on the news, man. You can best believe the so-called these, these fake news on they showing you, man. They ain't showing you everything, man. They ain't showing you what's really happening in those countries, man. As with the lender, so with the borrower. So who is the lender, man? Who lend you everything, man? These different banks, man. They the lender, man. Who the borrower, man? The, you, you, mainly our people. 
But then the so-called, at least of the so-called white man, he don't even care about his own people, man. But it's still a, it's still a crooked system, man. Cause they can get lent, they can get loans, and they um, they interest rate ain't gonna be higher as yours, man. You a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Latino, or Native American, man. So it's still systematic racism, man. You know, this whole system set up to, to make these people fail, man. But this whole system in the Bible set up to redeem our people, man. And it's gonna happen, man. So this is what you see going on right now. What I'm reading about now has to happen first, man. For peace, man, you got his, he, hey, you have to destroy. You're gonna get that, man. It's a time for everything, a time in the season for everything, man, upon this earth, man. And right now, the Lord got to set up the way he got his men across the four corners of the earth teaching his word, man. But it's going to come a time when that's going to be stopped, man. It's going to come a time when the famine of the word going to come, man. As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him, man. And what's that usury going to interest, man? The interest rates, man. So it don't matter, man. You can be in debt. You, and, and guess who? Guess who? Guess who? And guess what, man? On a higher level, man. Who America in debt to all these other, other countries, man. America in debt to China, Russia. The land shall be utterly empty. And what land going to be utterly empty, man? America, man. A.K.A. Babylon the Great, man. This place going to be utterly empty, man. Everybody going to shoot missiles on America, man. And utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourned and faded away. The world languishes and faded away. The holy people of the earth do languish, man. Who, what's holy? The proud people, man. So now the so-called white man starting to languish, man. He's starting to look crazy, man. So now he want to be cool with you and be your friends, man. Because he's trying to escape his judgment, man. While he doing trying to bring you down right along with him, man. That's the only thing going to happen. You can't stop the so-called white man's judgment, man. You can't pray to the Lord to have mercy on the white man, man. He not going to do it, man. Everybody must reap what they sow, man. It's time for you to reap what you sow, man. But like you say, the earth mourned and faded away, man. Look at the earth, man. I remember when I was growing up in this city where I'm at right now, Jackson, Mississippi, man. During spring, during the summertime, we just used to walk down the street, walk through the golf courses, walk through the parks. All type of berries on the bushes. Um, the little sugar cane you used to eat, man. You used to just walk around and, and eat all different types of berries and fruits. Don't none of that grow no more like that, man. You had the peach trees, the palm, the plum trees, man. You used to jump piece of people fishing and, 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 and steal the plums, man. The peaches or whatever, man, whatever tree they had. You don't see that. I don't see that. You don't see that no more around here, man. They let, they let you know the earth is language and faded away, man. But mainly America, man. Mainly America, man. But under the rulership of the so-called white man, man. And it's going to tell you why. I'm going to get that word language right there. As I say, the holy people of the earth do language. Right, man, the Hebrew word right here is, is uh, a, a mal, a mal, a mal, a mal, which means to be weak, to droop, to be exhausted, man. Right, man, so to, to be or grow feeble, man. So so you holy people of the earth, which is start with the so-called white, man, you growing weak and feeble right now, man. You know, 
and the, 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 the proud eye people going to get in that same arm, uh, going to get in that same spirit, man. If you don't come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, and come back to the uh, to come back to the to these words, man, or this book, you gonna, your spirit gonna get feeble, uh, gonna get feeble and weak, man. You no, know? the body can get feeble and weak, man, but it's about that inward man being renewed day by day, man. Then they say the earth, the, the world language too, man. So the earth is weak now, man. The, the, the earth not yielding her fruit no more, man. Why, man? The white man spraying chemtrails everywhere, man. He growing his GMO crops all across the face of the earth, man. Destroying natural crops, man. That's why the earth is weak, man. That's why the Lord got to come back and destroy it and, 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 and put the so-called white man in his place, man, and redeem his people, man. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. There it go, man. So the earth defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. Who run the earth? Who control everything, man? The so-called white man, man. So the earth is defiled under him, man. And, uh, and you other nations, other nations that's partakers with Babylon, the earth defiled under you, man. Even in China, man, got all this pollute, earth, polluted air and shit, man. Because he trying to be he, he, he modeled his ways after the so-called white man, man. Because they have transgressed the laws. There you go, man. What laws they transgressed, man? The laws, that's the commandments of the Bible, man. They don't keep the land savvy, man. They put concrete everywhere, man. Don't you know that when, with this concrete, man, when it get hot in the summertime, concrete's supposed to be able to hit the grass or the dirt, man, which is, which then ain't gonna trap the heat, man. But when, when it get hot in the summertime, man, wherever it's concrete at, all that concrete doing is trapping the heat, which makes it hotter, man, which makes it more humid, man. But they have transgressed the laws thereof, man. So called white, white man to transgress every law you can, man. You transgress every law you can, man, in this Bible, man. They done it purposely. Like I said, create, create the GMO crops. That's transgressing the laws, man. The Lord already made during the time of Adam, man. The Lord created everything in its perfect form, man. Everything was created perfect, man. Here comes the so-called white man. I can make a better um, I can make a better tomato, man. By putting fish cells in a tomato to make it make it um to make it hold water to keep it from Keep it, keep the fruit, keep it, keep it from rotting, man. It'll, it, you know, to keep it, keep the um, basically to keep the fruit from decaying. You know, it'll last longer, man. When the fruit decay, that means it's time to throw it away, man. You know, I got everything perfectly set up, man. But like the scripture said, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. They have transgressed the laws. Change the ordinance. Broken the everlasting covenant, man. Right, man. So this is the so-called uh, this is the so-called white man did when he came into power, man. He transgressed the laws of the most high. He changed the ordinance. And he broke the everlasting covenant, man. And when the so-called white man got to America, man, the Native American Indians. Tried to teach, taught him how to live, man. Taught him how to grow crops. Tried to show him the best. The, the, tried to show him the order of how to keep things going, man. But what did the so-called white man do, man? He that's what he, he, he when the so-called white man got over here, man. He defiled the he defiled the land, man. He brought smallpox with him, man. He started on uh, polluting the rivers by all the different water systems the uh, so-called Native American Indians had set up. He started pissing in them, man. You know? These just, now what did he do, man? He started, he, he want, he, he, with, he tried to, he, he, he got all type of nuclear waste. He pour into the sea. The earth is all out of whack and all out of course, man.
Change the ordinance, man. Change the times, man. You got something called Say Like David Times. They like saving times, man. The, um, the day started at midnight now, man. I'm going to get, um, this Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he should speak great words against the Most High. It should wear out the saints of the Most High, man. So that's what the so-called white man did when he got over here, man. He spoke great words against God. And then he wore out the saints. Who are the saints? The Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. We the saints, man. So how did the white man wear us out, man? He started off by trying to kill us all, man. By giving our people smallpox, different diseases, man. Then start teaching us this, 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 these fake, this fake Christianity, this Roman Catholicism, man, this masonry, man. And think to change times and laws, man. So we changed the times, man. Now you got daylight saving times. Like I was saying, you got the day after starting at midnight. That ain't in the Bible, man. The Sabbath is supposed to start according to the new moon. That's, that's when your new month starts. That's when the first day start, man. So he thought to change times and laws, man. Why? And it started during the time of the Greeks, man. It started during the time of Alexander the Greek and his four generals. And, 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 and basically, they posterity that came after them, man. They bloodlands that came after them, man. They started to think to change times and laws, man. And they done it, man. Until you got what we got today, man. Changing the laws, man. You look at that word law right there. It goes into the laws of God, man. What the what the what you got the Pope saying? He trying to change up the Ten Commandments. Um got the so-called white man, got made made laws for the homosexuals, the lesbians, man. You know? So he thought to change times and laws, man. And he done it, man. Telling our people, using the leaders of our people to tell our people, you don't got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments no more, man. And like I said, it all started with the Greeks, man. It all started with the Greeks, man. Antiochus Epiphanes came up with the, with the uh, ordinance, man, to where lead the laws of your people I'm going to get it, man. I'm just going to get it, man. I'm going to read this. I see Daniel 7 and Daniel 8, Daniel 11. It goes right into when the, when the Greek Empire came into power, man, and what they did, man. They thought to change times and laws, man. And they should be given into his hand until they time times and they, they divide the times, man. So we gave it to his hand. 1620 to 1970, man. It represent 350 years, man. A time, time, a time represent 100 years. Then times with an S is 200 years, and the dividing time is 50, man. So it's like 1620 to like the late 1960s to 70s. He was given into his hand. But then we started to receive his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We started to be pulled out and we started to be read out of his hand. Going back to um, Psalms, the 82nd chapter, man. Lord, we started to be read it out of his hand by learning our true identity, man. You know, learning who we are. Learning, learning who we are, man. According to the Bible, man. Because the truth going to set you free, man. Lord, I already tell you, um, we're not going to be redeemed. We're going to be redeemed without money, man. Isaiah, the 52nd chapter. Now, it might be, it might be. It's Isaiah, I, I, Lord, we allow to get it, man. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume it and to, to destroy it to the end, man. So now the judgment sit, man. So the white man being judged, he being read his judgment, man. 
Then it's gonna turn to a physical judgment, man. Well, we gonna take the kingdom, man. It's gonna turn to a physical judgment, man. Verse 27, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, man. And who is the people of the saints, man? Everybody, who the people who they can sit on my daughter, man? Everybody on the side right here, man. Mexicans, Cubans, you Haitians, you Dominicans, you Puerto Ricans, man. We the people of the saints of the most high, man. The kingdom, gonna be, the kingdom is going to be given to us, man. But it says it's going to be given to us, but we're going to take the kingdom, man. We're we, 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 we doing it right now, man. We're taking the kingdom spiritually first, man. So it's going to turn into a physical thing, man. And the, and, and, and the so called white man is going to turn into a physical, man. He's going to come with his sword, man. Then the Lord gonna come with his sword. That's when Michael gonna stand up, man. That's when the Lord gonna make his people his battle axe, man. And his weapons of war, man. His battle axe and weapons of war right now spiritually, man. But it's gonna turn physical too, man. Because when the so-called white man see all his enchantments and his witchcraft, and it has been, and like you said, his images all that have been confounded, then he gonna get physical, man. Then he gonna come down with his blessing of sword, man. Whose kingdom is, is, is an everlasting kingdom, and dominion shall serve and obey him, man. So all dominion is gonna serve and obey us, man. Every nation is gonna come bow down to our feet, man. The so called Chinese, the so called Japanese, so-called Arabs, East Indians, the so-called Africans, they all gonna come back down in our kingdom, man. Mainly the so-called white man, man. Here, here there too is the end of the matter. And as for me, Daniel, my cogitations much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart, man. So now this vision of Daniel is being fulfilled, man. So this show that the preachers don't know nothing. They never go in the Bible prophecy, man. Your Jesse Duplantis, your Joel Osteen's, they don't go into this. Know why? Because they all masons, man. They devils, man. They don't know the Bible. They don't know the Bible, man. But the Bible talking about that great country being destroyed, man. Which that great country is America, man. Isaiah 24 and 5 again. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant, man. Don't you know you're breaking the laws of God when you celebrate Thanksgiving, when you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Easter, you celebrate Halloween, Valentine's Day, that's breaking the laws of the Bible, man. None of that is in the Bible, man. Matter of fact, the Bible tells you, don't celebrate the old days, man. Therefore, have the, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate, man. These people desolate, man. They don't, they don't know the truth, man. You got people just going on day to day life thinking it's just gonna continuously to go like this, man. No, man. The Lord finna bring his judgment down upon this place, man. Therefore, 
The inhabitants of the earth are bird and few men left, man. And that word bird goes into they angry, man. They 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 burnt, man. They burnt up, man. The inhabitants of the earth don't know what's going on, man. That's why you got this whole, whole uh, opioid epidemic, man. You know? Everybody clinging to different drugs to think they're going to escape, man. As soon as that high go down, you, and then all them drugs do is open you up to the spirit world, man. You see, then you, hey, then you start seeing stuff you don't want to see, man. Then you start seeing little stuff in the spiritual realm, man, which is way too heavy for your mind, man. So now you're doing more and more drugs trying to escape it, man. Now, man, this is what's going to free your mind, man. This is what help you escape, man. Right here, man. These words in this book, man. Like you say, man, therefore has the curse divided the whole earth, man. Look around the whole earth right now, man. What do you see, man? All nations brewing up for, for, for World War III, man. All nations, man. It's brewing, it, 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 it's preparing, man. To go to war, man. Because all nations they have drunk of the wine. They have, they, they, they have fornicated with, with Babylon, man. Babylon the Great, man. They tied their economies in with them, man. So now, it's just like this. If I, if I start a business, man, and I'm at the top of the food chain, man, and everybody else start making deals with me that's under me, man, and, 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 and I start to lose my power, they're going to feel it first, man. They're going to feel it first, man. It's just like... Just because the dollar is the power that America used, man, the petrol dollar, man. And everybody started, um, you know, if the high demand for dollars came in because everybody needed the oil, man. You know, can't protect your country without your military, man. So you're going to need that oil, man. So it was America using their whole petrol do dollar system they set up, man, which made all the earth have to basically come and commit fornication with her, man. You know? So like I was saying, if, if, if the top dog start to lose his power first, it's going to affect everybody that's weaker than, than, than that top dog first. And that's what you see going on right now, man. These different countries, man. That's what you see going on right now, man. You have certain countries that plan for this, man. You know? Even though China countries kind of failing, but China and Russia... They had been prepared for this, man. Because all they did is look at history and see how America always done things, man. And they just started putting back on, uh, like, stockpiling bullion and bullions of gold, man. Just so when this time do come, man. But even with them doing that, man, it's not going to save them, you know, because all this going to... For America, uh, let anybody else be the superpower on the earth, man. They're going to go to war, man. They're going to fight for this, man. Which is going to lead to the World War Three. Which is going to lead to to our Lord and Savior coming back to deliver our people, man. Because before America let everything go down, they for so-called white man, man. Let any one of these other nations rule, man. He's going to push the button to destroy everybody, man. That's his man for him. Therefore, that's therefore that's how the that's how the uh, the curse is devouring the earth right now, man. Said a new wine morning, the vine languishes. All the merry hearted do sigh, man. Why, man? Because of that, this truth, the scriptures I already tell you, you gonna sigh, man. Said men's hearts failing them for those things that are coming about to come upon the face of the earth. Said the mirth of the tabernacle ceases, the noise of them that rejoice is ended, the joy of the harp ceases, man. 
So all this music that man, it, 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 it ain't, it ain't, ain't no music that, that, that get you in a happy spirit no more, man. All this music they got out here now, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's keeping you, basically keeping you blinded, man. Making you sad, man. And ain't nobody sighing and crying for the wickedness that's done in the midst thereof, man. They sighing and crying because they walking in darkness, man. Like the scripture said, the Lord said, gonna make, make men walk as, gonna make, them, make, make people walk as blind men in these days, man. And that's what all is leading up to, man. So if you so, you on this side, man, you a Negro, Hispanic, Latino, or Native American, man, it's time to come back, man, to your power, man. Trust me, man, you don't want to get caught up in the destruction that's gonna happen, man, in this place, man. Even though we can speak it and, and read it out of here, man, Gonna be on a way, it's gonna be way worse than we can see or, or, or describe it, man. But it actually happened, man. Actions speak louder than words. So they should not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Right. The city of confusion is broken down, man. So this the land of confusion, man. It's starting to be broken down, man. You can come to America, and be, you can come to America, man, and worship Satan. You can worship a dog, a cat, it don't matter, man. This the land of confusion, man. You can be a homosexual, a lesbian, you, you LGBT, PEG, all that bullshit, man. This the land of confusion, man. But it's all under the inhabitants and rulership of the earth under the so-called white man, man. Every house is shut up that no man coming in, man. Right, man. If the city is left desolate, and the gate is smiting with destruction, man. Right. Let's look around you, man. Look at the city you live in, man. They can try to dress it up and make it seem sweet, man. But look at look at the look at look at the looks on everybody's faces, man. Look at the spirit they in, man. These people ain't high or drinking nothing, man. You gonna you'll see that real spirit then, man. You'll see ain't no happiness in them, man. You gonna see that you gonna see somebody real spirit then, man. There ain't nothing wrong with drinking, man. The scripture tell you why ain't making them heart merry, man. But for you Negroes and Spanish Latinos and Native Americans, man, this your rest. This is your peace right here, man. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with drinking. You drink, you know, you, 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 hey. I drink, me of the Lord, drink, man. We're even called Jesus Christ drunk wine all the time, man. Why, man? Because he was he, his people was stre continuously to stress him out, man. Then he had to watch. He knew who he was, man. He he just had to live and see how those Romans were ruling over us, man. You know, dealing with the wicked wicked leaders of our people, man. Trying to kill them, man. And thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people. There shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done, man. So when them nuclear missiles hit this place, man, 